Aries Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing the next Zodiac themed installment in my Zodiac Astrology series. So for this one it is going to be Aries, and so I hope you guys like this, especially if you are in Aries, but keep in mind that all of the other Zodiac signs will be uploaded throughout the year, so if you are waiting for a specific one, don't bother requesting it. I promise I will get it to you when the time is right, so just keep an eye out for that. As they are uploaded, there will be links for all of them in the description box below, so if you are past your month already, go back and check for it there, because it will probably be there. I hope you guys like this, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to create that gorgeous galaxy style background with a combination of blue, black, teal glitter and white acrylic. So for the most part, it's the blue, black and teal and you want to kind of um, fade it in and out. So you want to put, you kind of go from black to blue to teal and just sort of, you know, create a soft gradient here and there. It doesn't have to be um, like a tip to cuticle gradient. You can kind of, as you can see, I'm going back into the blue, just kind of, you know, use the colors and keep it loose and don't have too much of a structure to keep in mind. Just kind of do what feels right with the acrylic. Like, I hope that it's kind of let it guide you. And then add just a touch of white kind of over the teal area just to add like the foggy appearance of the galaxy. So then you're going to want to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic and just when I did the background, all of those acrylics I was using were fairly wet. They were a little bit almost on the runny side, which makes that gradient swirly galaxy appearance so simply but that makes it so the nail is actually fairly weak so you want to make a nice layer of clear acrylic over the top of it and really encase this nail especially over the top of the teal glitter since filing that's going to make it look very gray and yeah so just make sure that you encase it and when you go to file it don't file into your teal glitter because that's going to make your glitter not so sparkly. So now I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file. I started out with a pretty coarse bit just to remove any bulk and get it into that nice coffiny shape. And then after I have it fixed into, into shape with that one, I'm going to take a much finer bit that has, that really doesn't take much acrylic off, but it just smooths very, very well basically a buffer bit and I'm just going to buff over the surface to make it easy to paint on. Especially when you're doing hand painting, buffing a nail beforehand is so crucial because otherwise it just, it doesn't have a very good surface on it and your paint's going to look kind of scratchy. So now we're going to be painting the symbol of the ram right in the center of the nail. And I know that some of this galaxy background gets covered up with all of these um, symbols and everything that's I'm, that you paint on top of them for these galaxy designs. But if you were doing a set of these, I would do the galaxy background on all of them or something like that, kind of go with the colors. That way you get that galaxy appearance on the other nails and it kind of all ties together. And the other thing you could do is if your nails weren't as long, you could take and instead of doing all of these things, all of the three, because I have the three different things on these nails, you could split them up. So you could not, you could, you could, wouldn't have to put them all on one nail is what I'm trying to say. Oof. You could do them on different nails. So I'm doing this all with white paint. And as you can see, I'm kind of leaving the gaps available. So as I'm painting this, I'm doing just little section by little section and sort of uh, puzzle piecing it together and filling it in. As you're doing this, if you find that you accidentally painted over an area that should have been left open, like um, around the jawline or something, you can always go back through with a paint that's close to the color. I know that on a couple of these designs, I use some blue paint to touch up areas or add eyes or what have you. I know with the Pisces nail, I added the eyes of the fish with some blue paint. You can definitely do that. Just go through with a paint that's close and fix up anything. And it's not really gonna be seen, but try to leave those areas open as much as you can, which I know is easier said than done. But you know, do what you can, I have faith. So then you're going to be painting the constellation above the ram. And when you're doing this, it's so easy to all of a sudden end up with a constellation that's way too large and wants to go off the nail. So really uh, guide yourself and make sure that your nail or your constellation isn't too wide for your nail or too tall for the space that is allotted for it. Just kind of be careful when you're doing that because it is so easy, especially with this one, to go off the edges. And then we're going to be painting the zodiac symbol at the tip of the nail. And, you know, like I said, you can split these up and you can kind of have fun with it and do whatever you like with these. The zodiac sign for Aries is very simple. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a very artsy V almost. And then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of the entire thing, which is going to make that galaxy background really come alive, especially with that teal glitter in it. And that is it. Like I said, if you are looking for one of your other, one of the other zodiac signs, thank you for watching this one anyways. Um, but I will be either uploading them as the time arrives, or I will have links to them in the description box below if they are already uploaded. So please check for that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.